The pharmaceutical industry has a major role to play in monitoring the safety of their medicines in clinical use. Over the years, Member States' pharma provision systems have evolved, so that first and foremost there is now a great opportunity to simplify and streamline the requirements on industry. Key to achieving this will be the role of the central database, Eudra Vigilance, as the one-stop shop for adverse drug reaction reporting by industry. A critically important first step has been ensuring that the database contains appropriate information on all medicines on the EU market and that this is structured in a way so that the necessary analyses can be carried out accurately. A further important simplification will be replacing the need to specify a company's pharmacovigilance systems in every medicine's marketing authorization by a master file. The company systems will be subject to regular quality audit. In addition to simplification, the new legislation means greater proportionality. The existing legislative arrangements mean there are basically similar requirements for monitoring the safety of established medicines with well understood safety profiles as there are for newly introduced novel drugs. So the new legislation will mean that obligations for the monitoring of older medicines will be cut right back. The requirement for periodic safety update reports for generic and herbal medicines will largely disappear. Balancing these efficiency measures, there will be some new approaches for industry. The definition of an adverse drug reaction will be broader and will include harms which are associated with use outside the medicines marketing authorization, from medication error and from abuse or misuse. The positive impact of risk management plans introduced in 2005 as a more proactive approach to filling the gaps in knowledge at the time of licensing means that these will now be required for all new medicines. And in line with the focus on benefits and risks throughout a medicine's life cycle, it will be possible to require a company to conduct not only a post-authorization safety study, but where appropriate, a post-authorization efficacy study. So for the industry, what the legislation really means is an opportunity to rationalize and change the whole focus from simply meeting regulatory requirements to better understanding the safety of their products and better risk-benefit management.